Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's recent visit to the Yasukuni War Shrine has infuriated Seoul. What will be the fallout for bilateral relations? Korean and U.S. researchers have developed a new way to map the brain in order to pinpoint disease at an affordable price. And Korean musicals are drawing acclaim in China even without big-name idol star power. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Friday, December 27th. I'm Luke Clary. The Korean government has denounced Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's visit to the controversial Yasukuni War Shrine, expressing outrage. Upcoming bilateral contacts between the two countries could be put on hold. In a statement, the Seoul government mentioned names of Japanese war criminals such as Hideki Dojo. It strongly denounced an incumbent Japanese prime minister for paying homage to a shrine of top war criminals. The government also urged Tokyo to first build trust through poignant self-reflection and by apologizing. The statement was issued by Seoul's culture minister acting as the government spokesperson. This also implies Korea is taking the matter seriously as a foreign ministry spokesman usually takes on this role. A Japanese embassy official was also summoned in protest. Japan says that it has no intention of hurting the Korean people. But Korea pointed out that such a remark made by the prime minister after his visit lacked sincerity. Seoul is warning that Tokyo will be fully responsible for the outcome of its actions. Korea's presidential office, Chongwade, discussed response measures during a security policy coordination meeting. Efforts made to improve bilateral relations, including plans to hold a vice minister level meeting, are expected to be put on hold. Furthermore, the first summit of the two nations' leaders that was cautiously being discussed for early next year may also be difficult to achieve. Among President Park Geun Hye's campaign pledges, the introduction of special prosecutors to overall the nation's prosecution service. But by exempting lawmakers from special probes, the government has set off a public firestorm. The National Assembly Legislation and Judiciary Committee recently convened a meeting to discuss the nomination of special prosecutors and their duties. They also spoke about who is subject to special probes. Initially, the ruling and opposition parties submitted a bill calling for the inclusion of lawmakers in the list of people subject to special probes. They also called for the addition of the president's relatives and acquaintances, as well as cabinet members, to such lists. But they later decided to exclude lawmakers from being included. They say that if lawmakers were also included in the list, it would counter the principle of separation of powers. They added that if special prosecutors are managed by the Ministry of Security and Public Administration, they would have no power to control lawmakers who legislate laws. However, the ruling and opposition parties failed to narrow their differences on the scope of the authority special prosecutors hold. Therefore, it's still unclear if the reforms of the prosecution service will be legislated within this year. The ruling and opposition parties have yet to clarify their official stances. For now, they are just trying to avoid public criticism. Independent lawmaker An Chol Su is now a rival to the opposition Democratic Party. Competition is growing fierce between the two in the democratic stronghold of Korea's southwestern region. Independent lawmaker An Chol Su is on a mission to sway voters in Gwangju, long regarded as a stronghold of the Democratic Party. Scores of citizens and An supporters flocked to listen to what he and his team had outlined for the new political party. An criticized the Democratic Party more harshly than before. <laughs> The 
With regards to the flurry of dropouts in the Democratic Party, An said that he wishes to join hands with anyone that shares his political views. The Democratic Party showed an immediate reaction. Representative Chu Mie indirectly criticized An by saying that there should be no split in the opposition camp and that An should first demonstrate his potential in the southeastern region. The Democratic Party leadership made it clear that it would compete rather than join hands with An. 승리만을 위한 연대 역시 바람직하다고 생각하지가 않습니다. 자고 우면하지 않고 두벅두벅 우리 민주당의 길을 걷겠습니다. The competition between An's new party and the Democratic Party is expected to be particularly fierce in the June local elections and July parliamentary by-elections for next year. There is still so much to learn about the brain. When treating brain disease, discovering where the problem stems is essential. A joint Korea-U.S. research team has developed a way to meet this task at an affordable cost. The most important factor during brain surgery is the accurate sight detection of the malfunctioning part of the brain. If not, other areas and functions of the brain that are working properly could be damaged. A device that measures brain waves and analyzes the entire brain like a map is used in these occasions. The existing machines are way too expensive and are used at only two places in the country. The existing model uses liquid helium, which is very expensive and needs large equipment to be installed. The Korea Research Institute of Standards and Science, together with Princeton University, has developed the world's first new concept magnetoencelography, or MEG, that has resolved the high-cost issue of the existing MEG. The new MEG utilizes a supersensitive atomic magnetometer. When a laser beam is discharged, atomic vapors line up like a magnet, but the atoms rotate differently in the malfunctioning parts of the brain. 기존의 초전도 스퀴드 기반의 레자도 기술의 감도는 그대로 유지하면서 액체 헬륨을 통한 냉각이 필요 없어짐에 의해서 경제성을 크게 높인 장치라고. The finding will be published in the renowned journal on brain function, NeuroImage. More and more vehicles are installing black boxes to document accidents or other problems on the road. By registering one with police, drivers may become a part of a network that's being called the shadow cop system. A man exits from a homeless shelter and a fire breaks out. This scene was caught on a vehicle with a black box and helped identify the suspect. A man with his head covered flees the scene on a motorcycle. Black box footage of this bank burglar in August was also crucial in leading to his arrest. Since April, the police have been operating a shadow cop system using black boxes installed in people's vehicles for criminal investigations. It's a cooperative system by which citizens provide visual black box records at the request of police to aid in various accidents and crimes. In fact, this system has solved five crimes in Tego City since April. CCTV는 많은 비용이 소요되기 때문에 확대하는 데 있어서 많은 문제가 있습니다. 블랙박스 같은 경우에는 곳곳에 많이 있기 때문에 범죄 수사에 많은 도움이 되고 있습니다. Some 2.2 million cars in the nation have black boxes. The apparatus is being hailed as a fine watchdog filling in security loopholes. In an effort to help smaller retailers, supermarket chains are subject to restrictions on their hours of operation. The chains have filed a constitutional appeal. Here's the latest on the case. The constitutional appeal that the supermarket chains had filed refers to paragraph 2 of Article 12 of the Distribution Industry Development Act, which was effective before its amendment last January. The paragraph stipulates that the heads of local governments have the right to restrict the business hours that the supermarket chains can operate and designate which days the stores need to close when deemed necessary. The supermarket chains said the restriction of their business hours had clearly inflicted damage to them while failing to protect conventional markets, which was the original goal of the restriction. But the Constitutional Court has unanimously dismissed the appeal. The court said in its ruling that the relevant paragraph itself cannot be viewed as a violation of basic rights because it recognizes the discretion of local governments. The Constitutional Court said that the issue of basic rights violation must be tackled according to the local government's regulations, which are based on the paragraph in question, and that the plaintiffs must accept the outcome of the administrative legislation filed against the relevant regulations. 
The supermarket chains have already filed administrative lawsuits against their local governments, but the verdicts have yet to be issued. The legitimacy of the restriction on the supermarket chain's business hours will likely be determined by the Supreme Court. Like many of us making New Year's resolutions, the Seoul Municipal Government has planned many changes to its administrative policies for the new year. Here are some of the new measures. Yonsero is a very congested area in Seoul. But recently, the stretch of road from Shincheon's five-way junction to Yonsei University has been designated as Seoul's first public transport-only zone. Starting January 6th, only buses, bicycles, and emergency vehicles will be allowed on the road, and the pedestrian sidewalk will be more than doubled in width. Yangdungpogu and Kumcheonggu will be the first districts to feature trash collection sites in residential areas that have many single-family households. Trash was usually put out in front of your home, but starting next year, people will have to throw away waste at designated places for a more pleasant living environment. Information about the operation of child care centers will be made available online. People will be able to check the status of basic facilities as well as budget and payment details and also meal plans. Furthermore, all middle school students will get free school lunches instead of just those from the 1st to 8th grades. Also, the mandatory non-smoking zone rule will be applied to all restaurants larger than 100 square meters. 624-hour convenience stores in Seoul will be selected as safe zones where people in danger can take refuge and request help from the police. Korean musicals are now part of the Chinese entertainment scene, even without the idol star power typical of Korean cultural exports to Japan. Korean musicals in China draw acclaim. The theater is vibrating with energy and anticipation. Korean musical Gwanghamun Love Song 2 is being performed at this theater. Tickets cost as much as $245, but the show is sold out. Although the musical doesn't feature any big K-pop stars, it has made a lot of effort to appeal to the local audience, like adapting the plot for the Chinese viewers and including many emotional songs. This Korean show became an unprecedented hit as it is contracted to tour 22 cities in China, including Beijing, and will hold 100 performances. The Chinese performing arts market, estimated to be over $945 million, presents a very lucrative opportunity for Korean musicals. The local musical market is already saturated, so many production companies are eyeing the Chinese market. Big productions, like Song of Two Flowers, are not the only ones to pioneer overseas markets. Smaller musicals are becoming more aggressive in attracting new audiences. For instance, Finding Mr. Destiny has a Chinese version with a full Chinese cast. Anticipations run high for Korean musicals, which will hopefully enjoy a high level of popularity seen with other Hallyu contents like TV shows and K-pop. Koreans now enjoy a wider variety in betting options than ever before. It's a mixed blessing. Now, deciding on the best betting material to suit your needs is that much more difficult. At a traditional market in Seoul, storefronts here and there display piles of betting materials. In recent years, the variety of betting materials has grown tremendously, each with different properties. They come in scores of varieties, making it difficult to choose. This family says it will get new bedding this winter. The family bought their current bedding because the style was popular at the time. They're made with none other than super fine fibers, which are the best known winter bedding material. But there was a snag. The more they used the blankets, the stiffer they became. They also create a lot of static and worries over dust. After a lot of thought, they've decided to go with more durable bedding. Let's find out what makes an ideal bedding set for families. 
Since it is winter time, we can see a lot of bedding made with various insulating materials. The most popular these days are goose down bedding sets. Goose down bedding has the advantage of being lightweight and highly insulating. The disadvantage is that they're pricey and the feathers may leak out. There are also huge variations in the amount of down they contain. How do you tell the good blankets from the bad? 고이털과 오리털 두 종류가 있는데 고이털은 오리털보다 벌기성, 필링 파워, 충전도가 우수합니다. 이 충전도가 우수한 것은 공기층을 많이 함유하기 때문에 보온 효과, 경량성이 우수하다고 볼수 있습니다. 그래서 일반적으로 필링 파워가 700 이상이면 양질의 우수한 제품이라고 볼수 있으며 솜털 비율이 80% 이상 된 제품이 우수한 제품이라고 말할 수 있겠습니다. Wool bedding has high air permeability and can be used in the summer as well. Although they are suitable for people who sweat more than average, they tend to be a bit heavier than goose down and difficult to wash. If you set your heart on real wool bedding, you must always check the wool mark. Superfine fiber bedding is made from fibers one hundredth of the thickness of a human hair. They are artificial fibers and therefore reasonably priced. They have the advantage of being practical. 보온력이 우수하고 세탁 후에 그 외관 변형이 거의 없습니다. 근데 단점으로는 이게 사용 중에 정전기가 많이 발생하고 제품에 따라 가지고 조직의 밀도가 음성한 경우도 많이 있거든요. 구매하실 때 이런 점을 잘 관찰해서 구매하시면 되겠습니다. A lot of housewives are worried about their family members getting eczema. People with sensitive skin should use natural cotton or antibacterial bedding. There are also eco-friendly cutting-edge technologies going into today's bedding. 나무를 이제 주 원료로서 만든 텐사료라는 소재가 있는데 나무와 같이 그 수분 흡수력이 좋고 또 칠코 같이 굉장히 부드럽습니다. 초극사인 3mm 이하의 그런 극세사 제품도 많이 출시되고 있습니다. 이건 워낙 그 구멍 사이즈가 적다 보니까 찜들기 통과가 잘안 됩니다. 그러다 보니까 그 아토피 환자라든가 또는 피부병 환자들이 친환경적으로 많이 사용되고 있는 요즘 추세입니다. Now that the cold is setting in, spend a warm winter season with just the right bedding that's ideal for your family. Now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. We'll be back on Monday. Have a great weekend.